on the next module which is uh, adding noise to the inputs right. So, we have some kind of a noise process and now can you relate that how that was related to regularization that was exactly the motivation in that case that we could have an over complete automated encoder which is a very complex model because it has a large number of parameters and to avoid that we were adding this noise to the inputs. So, that even if it tries to minimize the training error it is not actually minimizing the true training error right because you have fed some noise to it everyone gets this right ok. Uh, now, actually we can show that for a simple input output neural network right that means, you do not have any hidden layer you just have a set of inputs and you have the output layer. Then adding noise to the input or rather adding Gaussian noise to the input is equivalent to weight decay. So, this can also be viewed. So, we will do this part right. So, we will just quickly do a small derivation where we show that adding Gaussian noise to the inputs is the same as doing a L2 regularization right. That is a very neat uh, idea. Uh, so, this can also be viewed as data augmentation right. Exactly what I showed on the previous slide right? you had the 2 you just corrupted some inputs of it that is the same as adding noise to the data. So, essentially augmenting the data right you have some training data and just augmenting it so to get more training data is that fine ok. Now, about this uh, smallest derivation this is again just a set of steps I will go over it reasonably fast I will give you the setup and then we will quickly work through the derivation right. So, what I was trying to say is that if you have a simple input output neural network that means you just have inputs and the output you do not have a hidden layer then adding a Gaussian noise to the input units where the noise comes from this distribution it is a Gaussian distribution 0 mean. I want to show that doing this is effectively the same as doing L2 regularization ok. Now, again see this is the same thing squared egg in a va vacuum because this is not the kind of networks that we deal with, but it is good to see what happens at least in these neat conditions because we will never have a simple input output network at least not in this course we will have a deep neural network always. So, but at least see what happens in this simple case right. So, what we are doing is from the x size we are creating a noisy x i by just adding some epsilon noise to that. And what is our model going to be it is just an aggregation of all the inputs ok. So, this is what our original model would have been without the noise fine. I would have just aggregated all the inputs. I am assuming there is no nonlinearity at the output right. I am just taking y i is equal to summation of all my inputs. Everyone fine with this right or this is too simple for you guys to understand because we have been doing a lot of deep neural networks. So, suddenly one layer network I do not know what it is. Everyone gets it right ok. And instead of y hat now I have y tilde because instead of x i I have x i tilde ok. But what is x i tilde? x i plus epsilon i right. So, I can write it as this this is fine. So, actually y tilde is nothing but y hat plus some quantity ok. What are we interested in always this quantity the expected mean square error ok I mean expected squared error and why not y hat because we have added noise to the input. So, now y tilde are the outputs that we are going to get ok. So, let us see what that quantity is. And again just considering to be some simple stuff. So, I have replaced y tilde by this that we just derived on the right hand side on the left hand side ok. So, I am going to take these two terms together. So, I can write it as this plus this the whole square fine ok. And I am going to keep this as it is. What is this quantity? The original squared error expected squared error right when I was not adding noise to the input ok. Uh, and you see how we get got these two quantities this is just a plus b the whole square is equal to whatever it is equal to right. Uh, now, let us look at the last term this is a square of a sum right. So, what kind of terms would you have inside you will have some terms which are epsilon i squares and you would have some terms which are epsilon i epsilon j right ok. So, we will have some expectations which are going to be something into epsilon i square and some expectations which are going to be epsilon i epsilon j. Everyone gets this 
some terms there. Now, which of these terms would disappear? These terms, right? Why? Because the noises are independent. Okay, I'm not. Uh, if I have drawn a noise for one instance, it does not have any influence on the noise that I'm going to add to the next instance. If I've taken one xi, corrupted it with some noise, there is no bearing on the noise that I'm going to use for the next epsilon i. Right? All these features are the noise added to the features are independent. Right? Is it okay? Fine. So now, from these terms, only the square terms are going to remain. Is it fine? And similarly, this quantity, what can you say about this? We just did something similar. Why am I saying that this is going to 0? Again, I can show that this is the covariance between this random variable and this random variable. Okay? And now, are these two random variables dependent? No. What is epsilon i? The noise that I am adding to the input. Does it have any effect on y hat? No, right? Because y hat does not depend on the noise. What is y? True output. Does it have anything to do with the noise? No, right? So that is why these two random variables are independent. So I can again write their the expectation of their product as a product of expectations and then the expectation of this is going to be 0 because epsilon i was drawn from a 0 mean distribution. Is that fine? Everyone gets that? The same trickery that we did earlier. So, this is the quantity that we are left with. You see how I got from here to here? This is an expectation of a sum which is equal to a sum of expectations. W i has nothing to do with it. It is not a random variable. So, it is just the expectation of sigma i square which is nothing but the, the variance. right? So, I get this. What does this look like? I already told you the answer before starting. right? This looks like L2 regularization. This is the true error. I mean, this is the empirical estimate from the training error and this is the weight decay term. Everyone gets this? How you see that this is an equivalent thing? So, at least in this neat setup, you get the intuition that adding noise to the inputs is the same as adding a L2 regularization term. Everyone is fine with this? Okay. 